you ever see clients and as you're seeing them, you realize that they're holding on these really negative, uh, limiting uh, mindsets and beliefs that are holding them back? In this video, we're gonna talk about how do we help them release those though, so they can continue to move forward on their journey, okay? Talk right now. So years ago, uh, I was working with this client and uh, I told them exactly what they needed to do. And then they said, I don't think that's the right way. I think you were trying to, to brainwash me. That's what they said. <laughs> and it was a very interesting conversation. Anyways, the session went from an hour to two and a half hours and it turned into an arguing session. And uh, after the session, you know, I was, I was almost on I was almost in tears just because of the negativity and they left not in the greatest energy. I didn't leave in the greatest energy. They probably didn't like me. I definitely didn't like them. And so um, in that moment, I realized like, man, I need to know how to actually navigate these so I don't get caught in them, okay? And so I wanna talk about the anchor versus the engine. I talk about this a lot. Transformation is contrast. Okay, contrast, yin and yang, up and down, light and dark, boy and girl, right? Transformation is contrast, and we'll, and we'll dive deeper into this, and usually where I like to start is anchor versus engine, okay? And so one of the things that you have to be able to identify with your clients, and more importantly, they, okay, keyword, they have to identify. Who gives a shit if you identify? Who, who cares if you know? Okay, they need to know, they need to believe, they need to understand. And so uh, one of the things I tell clients is like, I'm not gonna tell you what to believe, okay? It's your choice to tell you what to believe. I will bring up things that maybe you don't see so you can see them for yourself, but at the end of the day, that's your choice, okay? And we have to be uh, more responsible, you know, as leaders, you know, information is dangerous. When I tell someone to work hard, Okay, maybe that was the worst advice I could have told them to, to do. Maybe they're already working hard. Maybe they're, they're working too hard. Maybe they're not working smart. Okay, maybe that's their problem. So if I told them to work hard, okay, what's the, what's the what could possibly be, um, if I told someone to work hard, you know, maybe that's not serving them to the best. Maybe that was even detrimental and vice versa. So contrast, so working hard, working smart. So maybe I tell someone to work smart. Maybe they're, they're sitting around and always thinking of these ideas. Maybe they're always trying to find a better strategy or better way of doing it. Okay. Maybe telling them to work smart. Okay. was not the right thing that I needed to tell, to tell them to do. Okay. All right. So we need to help them come to their own conclusion and what's best. Okay, you haven't walked in their moccasins. You haven't been in their shoes 24-7 for their entire lives. Okay, a lot of times we think that people hire leaders or coaches to tell them what to do. A great leader and a great coach is more of a shaman. Okay, they help find what is best for them. They help find their own answers. Okay, that's called empowerment. So you want to empower your people, not have them rely on you to find the answers, right? Okay, so... If you imagine a boat, right, trying to move forward in the water, okay, and if they're carrying these anchors below the surface, imagine this boat trying to move, right? They can be pushing on the gas pedal, okay, trying to move them forward, but if they have this anchor that's down here, who cares how fast they, how hard they push on the gas, okay, because they're carrying the anchor, okay? And what the anchor essentially represents is their limiting beliefs, okay? So what's a limiting belief? A limiting belief is a belief that someone has that limits them some way, somehow. And this is where people get caught up. They go, that's true though. That's the truth, okay? Well, is it true that the average NBA player is six foot four? Yes, that is very true. However, if you would have told Muggsy Bugs that he's too short to play in the NBA, he would have probably never played in the NBA. He was the shortest basketball player of all time. He's five foot four, right? Super short, right? Okay. So we got to be careful 
in what we tell people to believe. We got to be careful of the limiting beliefs. More importantly, they have to understand what their limiting beliefs are. Okay, well, belief is something that limits you some way, somehow. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. It matters if it limits them or not. So like a good example for like a trainer, right? I just have, I have bad genetics, okay? If you believe you have bad genetics, then you're always going to support that belief and you're always going to hold yourself back from getting results. And so I've had a lot of clients over the years that as soon as we got them to realize that they control their genetics called epigenetics. If you're in training, you need to research that. Okay. Epigenetics means above genetics. Okay. And so as soon as we can get people to unleash and let go of these limiting beliefs, okay, we get rid of the anchor. Okay. Now we can push on the gas pedal. And so with, with transformation, sometimes, or I think this depends, um, you know, upon per person, but usually when you're starting with someone, the first thing that you're wanting to do is you're wanting to help them unleash the limiting beliefs. Okay. With most people, they're like, let's push on the gas. Here's what we need to do. Here's how the way we need to think about it. And we just push, push, push. And that's how some of your clients get burned out real fast is they're pushing on this gas realizing that they're dragging all these anchors below the surface that they can't see in their subconscious, okay, not realizing that that's holding them back for the results, okay? So now the question is, how do you help people unleash these limiting beliefs? So this is an easy four-step process to help someone start getting past these limiting beliefs, okay? So the first one, okay, the first one you want to do is you want to identify what's the limiting action, okay? What do they have trouble doing? So so the action, so I'll put negative action. Okay, what are they struggle, struggling to do? Okay, struggling going to the gym, struggling waking up on time, right? Um, I'm, I'm struggling in, in getting my, my marketing done, right? So we want to identify what's the negative action, okay, that they're holding on to, okay, or, the, or not they're holding on to, negative action that they're doing, right? Okay, now... As soon as you identify the negative action, okay, now what is the belief that you feel like is limiting you that's causing that negative action? Okay, what's that limiting belief? Whatever we believe, we do. Whatever we do, we have. Be, do, have, right? We already talked about this, right? First of the certification. Okay, so understanding that what's the action. And the reason why I start there is because People have a hard time identifying the limiting belief right from the get-go. Usually if you start with the action, people are very clear about what the action they're struggling with, okay? So from the action, then I ask, what's the limiting, okay, belief? So they need to identify what that limiting belief is, okay? So I'll usually ask them, what does a limiting belief mean to you, okay? And then I explain it. A limiting belief is a belief that we hold on to, doesn't matter if it's true or not, it matters, does it limit us or not? So if you could ask your higher self, or if you could talk to your future self, or the best version of yourself, so I get them to kind of face themselves for a second, okay? And again, you might see that they have another limiting belief, or you might think it's something else, okay? Don't force going down that path. Don't force them looking at that. Focus on one at a time, and you want to focus where they're looking, because in their mind, that could be the biggest thing, okay? Belief is everything, right? Like we talked about, okay? If someone believes it's going to work, okay? All right. Versus someone else doesn't believe for it, and they could do the same actions. Usually, the person who believes it the most is going to get the result, right? Okay. So we want to identify what that limiting belief is, and then essentially the next step, okay, which is identify what is the transformational belief. So what's the belief, okay, that they need to believe? that's going to transform them, okay? So uh, a limiting belief is I'm not good enough, right? I'm not good enough to share my message on social media, okay? That's a common one that comes to marketing, okay? I don't want to be judged. I'm a fear of what people will say, right? I'm afraid uh, people will call me out. I'm afraid of, of looking stupid, okay? I'm afraid of not being enough. Transformational belief is could be my experiences of what I've learned are always enough for people to hear. Okay, so you get them to isolate 
What's the belief that they need to believe? What's the one that's going to serve them? What's the one that's going to help them create transformation? Okay, and then the last part is identify the action. So what's the action steps? Okay, and what happens I think a lot with, with coaching is we tell someone what to believe and then they don't go out and do it. And then the next day they don't do it again. They don't put themselves out in social media. And what happens is that action is tied to that belief. It either brings it up or it brings it down, right? It's either a balloon pulling it up or it's a weight pulling it down. So if, if you don't have an action step, then that belief starts to be pulled down over time. And what we do as human beings is after it hits the floor and gets stepped on by yourself and others, we begin to convince ourselves that we didn't even want to do that in the first place. Pretty fascinating sometimes. Okay, so we have to identify the mind and body. That's what's going to help create more transformation in your clients. Okay, what's the mindset? What's the skill set? What's the action step? Okay. And some of your niches are more focused here. Some of your niches are more focused here. You want to make sure you're providing both in what you're offering because that's what's going to create the greatest results, okay? Mind and body is the next generation of transformation. I do believe that, okay? Anyways, check out the other videos, guys. Go back through them if you need to. Make sure you're filling out your workbook, okay? As a reminder, you do get to sit down with us and the team after the certification to go over everything and help you creating a strategy for moving forward. I'm excited. Uh, for that. So you only got a few more steps till we get to that point. Okay. Be inspired in what you're doing guys. Be next gen. And I truly believe that the world needs you and the world needs this. The world needs the stuff that you're learning here. Okay. Because you're the person that's going to go out and change a lot of lives. Right. So keep on working, keep on doing the thing. Okay. And we'll talk to you soon.